In this demonstration, we will implement the functionality for the add button. So basically what I can do, I can take out this uh, comment from here so that the add button will be available for us and we will just be commenting the update and delete. In the next two lectures, we will implement the update and delete part as well. So when I click on the add button, we are going to call a function called as btn add underscore click. So this function I will be implementing maybe just about my render function this way. So the implementation looks like this for the btn add underscore click even handler function. So please be careful. Do not forget to apply the auto bind proper attribute to your functions because we are not binding events in the constructor anymore with this auto bind attribute. So that's how it helps a lot of code for us. If it is just one or two events that you, I mean, probably you might wonder, I can do that in the constructor as well. But imagine if you have so many controls, uh, having so much code to bind events itself takes a lot of time. So this is obviously the best approach. So inside the btn add click function, first I'm trying to build my URL to make a post request. So by saying this dot props dot site URL API web list by title Microsoft software slash items, pretty much like how we did in the get list items. And then we need to prepare our body here, which we, which which has to be passed when you are making the post request. So I'm defining a constant with some name of the type isp http client options we have taken this into the references now the body contains a json stringified data and where is our data it's obviously inside my this dot state dot software list item now this is the beauty of uh, creating a model for your state in fact so what what does that mean you can notice here we have text boxes here so when I enter data into these text boxes, so that data is now pretty much inside this dot state dot software list item. So that all the six text boxes data is in just one object here. And that object we are passing as a JSON string five string to the body parameter. Now it's time for us to make the post request by saying this dot props dot web part context dot sphttp client dot post which expects the url the url is pretty much ready for us and then the configurations dot v1 and the third parameter is our sphttp client options which is basically passing the software list item as a body to this post request so if the post request is successful then some kind of response will come to this response object of the type sphttp client response so here i will say if the status is 201 that means it is pretty much created successfully now at this point of time the the record is pretty much added to the list but what i would like to do after the record is added i want to refresh my data details list as well so that's the reason i'm saying this dot bind details list i'm calling the function by passing the message record added successfully and um, all records are getting loaded successfully so we are passing this message to this bind details list function which we have seen in the previous demonstration for any reason if the status is not 201 we're going to build an error message an error has occurred and the response dot status what is the http status code we got and then the status text and that error message I am passing to my state management status property by calling the set state and the value of this status will be shown in that special view that we have taken inside the render method uh, which is pretty much um, this guy perfect and uh, regarding the other functionality that I did so what happens so uh, it will go to the bind detail so let's go to that function so that specific message will come here and then again we are calling the get list items method we are getting the new data this time the list items will contain the newly added record so all the records we are putting back into the software list items state map property and immediately the details list will refresh it itself because it is bound to the software list items the details list is bound to the software list items so at this point of time 
we are ready to test our add functionality so the only thing here we have this on click event here and then we implemented the add click function once the record is added we are trying to refresh the grid perfect so it's time for us to test this functionality let me save all the files so let's go to the node.js command prompt in fact uh, the girl server is still running so probably i may not have to build this one more time so let's go back to our browser and try to refresh this window and you can see all the records are pretty much been shown in the details list and we now have an add button now okay so at the time of we are adding the data yes we don't have to supply any value for the id so probably conditionally we may hide this text box as well okay so the software title uh, i'm going to give something like say wcf for example okay we have a software name as wcf and some uh, description and then the software version something like say three and the software vendor yes i'm happy with my microsoft and um, at this point of time we are ready to click on the add button so now you can see a record has been added all records were loaded successfully i can see my wcf which i have just added and its id is 22. so that is how in this demonstration we've seen it 